Friends, this isn't an exaggeration. This is really my desk. You don't want to see the rest of this here. There are papers and books everywhere. It is an absolute wreck. And every once in a while, I go, yeah, okay, I got to get it organized, but then I'll put it off and it just piles up deeper and deeper. Now, I bring a very serious point here because there are people that actually believe I can make a wreck of my life and then after I leave this life, then I'll get things corrected. In other words, I do believe this person will tell me that after I die, then God's going to come and talk with me in my afterlife. No distractions. And so I've been asked about four or five times during this past month, month and a half, is there a second chance after a person dies that God will then say, now let's talk and then you can get saved? Well, let's take a look at the Bible. What does it say? Well, it makes it very clear in many passages, and I'll give you one, Matthew 25 and verse 46. There are only two destinations after this life immediately. It tells you there is one group of people that will go to eternal punishment and another will go to eternal life. Then you see even more of a qualifying statement in John chapter 3 and verse 36 in stating specifically about Jesus being that way. And it tells us, he who believes in the Son has eternal life. But it tells you, those that reject the Savior in this life, the wrath of God remains on them. It gives no hint that after you leave this physical life, the wrath of God will then pull away, wash away, and then God says, oh, thank goodness that's over with. Now let's talk in the quietness of the afterlife. There's nothing there. Jesus makes it very clear in John chapter 14 and verse 6. He is the only way and it doesn't say, well, you can avoid this path till after the life. In Jesus' own words, in Luke chapter 16, he gives the example of this. When we see that the rebellious man who lived for nothing but himself, when he died, he says this, Jesus says this in Luke 16. He dies, was buried, and then when he opens his eyes, lifts him up, he's in torment. There is no discussion. There's no negotiation. When we see the negotiation of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18, when the Lord says, come, let us reason together, you're talking about in this life, you have sins, they're as scarlet, I can make them white as snow. They're like crimson, I can make them as wool. Doesn't say in the afterlife, we'll discuss this. Understand this, Hebrews 9, 27, man is appointed once to die, and after this, the judgment, not a number of judgments, not a number of negotiations. We do not have any assurance in the Bible in the afterlife. There's a discussion. This is something to be taken very seriously.